Hello fellow humans. My name is Lindsay Brown and I'm at work kind of bored and I had this idea uh, called table reads. So essentially I have a magazine here, uh, Cosmopolitan, believe it or not. And this is the uh, June edition. Emma Roberts is on the cover and uh, she gets real as hell apparently in this edition. Uh, but we're going to take a quiz that is surely going to change all of our lives here and now today on this absolutely gorgeous Memorial Day Sunday in which I'm staying inside all day, which I'm totally fine with. Uh, but the quiz is, which royal BB are you? If you're wondering what BBs are, don't worry, we're going to look it up right this second because uh, I, th this is this is news. This is journalism. This is journalism in 2019. So let's go to Urban Dictionary to look up BB because I think I have a pretty good idea what it means, but I don't want to give false information. I don't want to spread fake news. So we're going to make sure. Yes, it is short for baby. So instead of typing out four letters, we're going to type out two and then that's what we're going to do. Makes sense, right? Totally makes sense. Now, back to what we're really here for. Which royal BB baby are you? We're going to take the quiz together, but basically by myself because that is what I am at this current point. So, start out the quiz here. It can be hard to tell what the grown-ass royals are really like behind their charming smiles and waving techniques. World peace. But the tiny royals can't help putting on their real selves on display. Well, they're children, so they're rolling bottle bodies of literal id. Um, find out which noble nugget is you in baby form, shall we? Number one. You just found out your best friend hooked up with your ex. Your reaction, A, I'm pissed. But I take a beat to plan my response. B, my world is ending. I hit her with the what the hell Heather text. C, it's whatever. He's an, my ex for a reason, you know. Or D, I have zero exes, so this is impossible. So, because we're answering for me personally, but you can answer on your own. And hopefully, if you are reading along with us, and by us, I mean me, we're on page 20 right now of that June 2019 uh, edition of Cosmopolitan. It depends... But because I never actually confront anyone, I would probably say, see, it's whatever. He's my ex for a reason. You know, I really don't care. Once I break up with someone, I'm kind of just like, whatever, who cares? Two, the pregame's almost over and that one friend demands a group photo. In every pic, you dot, dot, dot. Give the Kylie Jenner barely there smile. That's A. Uh, that's definitely not me. B, stick out my tongue like Miley Cyrus circa 2014. C, stare into the distance in a totally planted way. Or D, ugh, damn, my eyes are closed again. Now, usually I end up at D where it just either ends up my eyes being closed or it's a terrible picture. But that's why I have decided to adopt the... Uh, the lifestyle that is be ugly in photos intentionally because if you're trying to not be cute it's okay but when you're trying to be cute and then you end up not looking cute it's a real ego hitter so i just i i go with the tongue out honestly it, uh so i'm gonna go with b stick my tongue out with miley cyrus circa 2014 so if you're keeping track i answered c and then b we're gonna keep track we have a few more questions here to go Question number three. It's 10 a.m. on a Sunday. What are you wearing? <laughs> a. Underwear. I can't be contained by my pants. All right. B. By some miracle, I made it to brunch in a sundress. Ha! <laughs> C. Sweatpants and they're not coming off tomorrow. Till tomorrow. Check mark. And D. What are clothes? Now, it's 10 a.m. on a Sunday. This obviously depends on where you are because if you're on public at 10 a.m. and you're just naked, we're going to have bigger problems for you outside of you watching this and taking this quiz along with me. So mine is not D. Uh, mine is not A because I just, I get cold. I live in the basement. So I always pretty much have sweats on or I have uh, one half sweats, one half shorts because that makes total sense. So I'm going to say C once again. Uh, sweatpants and they're not coming off until tomorrow because that is the default or as some people like to call default LB. That is I. 
Question number four. It's girls' night out, so you're dot 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 telling the DJ I need Cardi B RTFN, which I can only assume that means right the fuck now. Great. B on the dance floor screaming drunk and laugh. C outside with a friend who needs air. Or D in bed being me is exhausting. Now. I have been all of these things. It kind of just depends on the mood. Uh, I would never use said term RTFN. I would just be like, sir, can you please play the song? I, I have a great idea that could really get this party jumping. Here we go. So I'm going to say C with the friend who needs air outside. Uh, just because usually I'll take myself outside because I need air when I'm just like, oh God, get me out of this place. So C once again. So I have three C's and one B so far. Question number five. Your high school senior superlative was A, most likely to be President Obvi. Literally says Obvi. B, life of the party. C, most likely to live at home until 40. Or D, worst case of senioritis. Ask me how, how many classes I slept through. Now, we didn't really do high school superlatives because I'm a later generation millennial. So we are already in the let's make everyone feel good camp and let's make sure. But I did win runner up uh, in biggest scrub, which if you're not familiar with that term uh, of slang, uh, I just wore sweatpants or shorts every day because I just didn't care. That was my senior year. I went like a year and a half without wearing jeans to school and it was awesome. So uh, I'm going to say D, worst case of senioritis, because I feel like I miss college more than high school, and I feel like you're weird if it's any other way. So I still have senioritis uh, sometimes in many aspects of my life. But uh, yeah, high school senioritis, I don't think I went to a full week of school in total, and I did not wear jeans once just because between hockey uh, season, tennis, and golf season, I was never in for a full week, and then obviously I didn't care, so I just wore whatever I wanted. Question six. What's your go-to accessory? A, knee-high socks. Ha! B, I'm single-handedly bringing back the bow. Certainly not. Or C, a sweatshirt that's so big it's practically a blanket. I'm not going to even... Well, there's D. It says snacks. So this is a predicament, my friends, because I do live in sweatshirts, especially big ones. Uh, you never know. And, and to be totally honest, in the yoga pants culture we're living in these days... Oversized sweatshirts are a must because most people say, well, you can't wear yoga pants because it shows off your butt too much and they're informal. You know what, people? You focus on yourself. Let kids wear yoga pants if they want to. Just let it fly. Who cares? It's better than wearing pencil skirts. Totally honest. I'm just saying. But snacks are an obvious must. I mean, I bring snacks with me everywhere. Gushers, Scooby Snacks, Goldfish, all of this crap. So I'm going to say D. But... The way that this this quiz is mapped out, because it's not a science, shocking. So you can see here, it says mostly A's, mostly B's, mostly C's, mostly D's. I think I answered C mostly. So I am low-key chilling like Prince Lewis. You are the lowest of low-key. You avoid taking the lead or making plans because you truly don't care. Oh, wow. Even when it comes to, say, your own christening, you're just along for the ride. That's surprisingly accurate for a Cosmopolitan magazine. Well, that was uh, this quiz. Which royal baby are you? Page 20 of Cosmopolitan edition of t June 2019 with Emma Roberts on the cover. And uh, follow me at Lindsay Brown 35 on Twitter. Follow me at Linz, without the E-Y, Brown35 on Instagram. And honestly, hit subscribe below. I don't know. I don't know how to YouTube things. Kids, you tell me what to do. But if you like this, I'll do more. If you don't, I'll still do more.